hey y'all welcome back today i wanted to do my labor and delivery story y'all already seen the vlog if you haven't i'll go ahead and link it up here and down below so go and check that out but i just wanted to come and tell the whole story of it because of course we didn't capture everything and this is just a day that i would never ever forget i wanted to do this today because today is july 28th so isaac hill is officially two months old but you are two months today you are two months old. Say hi, Isaac. So he was born on uh, May 28th of this year, 2017. I went into labor the day before, which was May 27th. Now this was like early labor, like where you, you know, still having Braxton Hicks, but you know like, okay, it's happening soon. So anyway, um, I woke up that morning, it was like 10 a.m. and I was just having Braxton Hicks all morning. They were like 10 minutes apart. And then they just stopped. Like, <laughs> I think I went like two hours or something without contractions. They basically started getting like sporadic and they wasn't, you know, timed anymore. So I was a little disappointed. Like, dang, I thought this was it. So I'm having these contractions sporadically and they getting a little stronger. So I'm like, you know what? I'm about to kickstart this labor because I've been having contractions all day. So I'm about to try to, you know, get it going for real. So what I did was I went outside. I walked around my neighborhood. I uh, jogged a little bit. I started doing some lunges, y'all. Like, I was... I was not playing. I was trying to get this boy out of me. So I was doing my lunges and I really think that's what did it. Like just squatting real low. I think that really like put him in a position to like, okay, it's time to come out. Came back in the house. I was in our little workout room and I'm dancing and stuff trying to, you know, shake this baby out. So it definitely worked. Okay. I got in the house around nine and then I ordered some pizza, got, you know, settled down, chilled a little bit start feeling the contractions come back so i'm chilling it's like around 10 a.m or not 10 a.m 10 p.m so i'm chilling with my pizza and everything chilling chilling i'm having contractions but they still kind of they still kind of sporadic but i could definitely feel them growing stronger so they really kicked in like around 10 30 almost 11 so yeah like around 10 30 11 o'clock they was for real like ooh, like i think i'm in labor so i'm just laboring around the house they're getting stronger and stronger 10 they consistently 10 minutes apart so i'm telling my husband like i'm definitely having this baby tonight or tomorrow so let's get ready good thing my hospital bag was already packed and everything so um i got in the shower and that was like that was heaven laboring in the shower was oh my god it it was amazing because it really helped to control the pain like with the water hitting my lower back it was it was amazing i kind of wish that i could have just did my whole labor in the shower because it felt so good well it didn't feel good but it just <laughs> because laboring in the shower for me it just really helped with my contractions with that hot water hitting my back so um i get in the shower i'm having strong contractions i'm bending over breathing doing my breathing exercises and everything like this is it like, i just know he was coming like anytime i knew like this was it for real so um Hospital bag already packed, we good to go. So I think it was like around 12 a.m. Yeah, I think it was like 12.30 when we finally left the house, um, finally got in the car, ready to head to the hospital. Then y'all, I was so irritated too. Like, let me tell y'all, because my husband was moving so slow. I feel like he thought I was pranking him like while we was in the house because he was moving so slow. Dude, can you rush your little self? Can you like hurry up? Because he was just taking his little sweet time and I'm like I'm in labor. Like I'm, I'm not trying to have his baby at home. I don't want to have his baby at home. Let's go. We get in the car. He like is this a prank? Like he <laughs> if y'all watch the vlog y'all see uh, when he was like you know is this a prank? I'm I was ready to punch him at that point. Like <laughs> No lie, ready to punch him because I was in so much pain. I'm like, boy, you don't get in his car and let's go. I did do the uh, my water broke prank on him, so you know, I can't really blame him. But anyway, so we get in the car and I just remember um, the contractions just start speeding up like out of nowhere. They they was at 10 minutes for a while, but it's like as soon as we got in the car, they just sped up so quick because okay, we got in the car, I had a contraction, we got to the hospital. We got to the hospital, I had a contraction, 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 and then when they wheeled me upstairs, I had another contraction. So it was just like, like clockwork. These contractions was happening, like Isaac was not playing no games. He was ready to come out. Contraction that I had in the car was so strong that I yelled out the F word. That's how bad that pain was, y'all. Like, I don't even use the F word. Like, I, you know, I got a little bit of a potty mouth, I ain't gonna lie, but I don't even really use the F word and that contraction hit me so hard that I, it just made me it made me yell 
that word. So anyway, the contractions was just coming so fast. Like I remember walking into the hospital and I just had to lean over on the receptionist desk. They was like, okay, like get her wheelchair, get this lady upstairs. She's in labor for real. Like get me up to triage. I have another strong contraction. So I get into the room before they could even hook me up and stuff. I had another contraction. I think that's the one y'all saw on the vlog. Like that was a pain like that is just hard to describe. It's just it's like no other pain in this world. Like. <laughs> Oh my god like that's lord so anyway um so they hooked me up so they hooked me up to the little you know baby heart monitor and they checked my cervix to see how far i'm dilated i was only three centimeters i was kind of disappointed because the way that i was feeling it was like i felt like i was so much further than that but anyway so they couldn't admit me because at the hospital at this hospital they want you to be four centimeters or further to go ahead and admit you. So they was like, okay, we're gonna let you sit for about an hour and see, and come back and check you again to see if you progress. If you haven't progressed, you have to go home. So the um, doctor checked me too, and that was Dr. Brown, y'all. She was really, really awesome. She was a great doctor, she was a good coach. But Dr. Brown almost got slapped when she told me that I wasn't in active labor, okay? Like, <laughs> but they was like, if you if you don't progress in an hour, then we gonna have to send you back home. And I was just like, so I'm not in active labor? And they was like, no, and I was like, girl, girl, girl. At this point, I was just kind of irritated and kind of like, oh my God, they better not send me home because I knew for a fact I was in active labor. I knew these wasn't no Braxton Hicks contractions. I knew that this was the real deal. So it's like, um, I think it was like around 1 a.m. when I got into triage and they hooked me up and checked me the first time. And so they let the hour go by and they come in and check me again. Girl, girl, an hour, okay? Maybe an hour and 30 minutes, I'll say that. So Dr. Brown comes in, checks me again. She was like, girl, you're at a 10, you ready to go. I was like, what? Like, hold on. I knew for sure that I wanted an epidural. I knew, I knew that I did not want to go through with a natural labor, but it's like I did. I went through, I dilated all the way to 10 without any medicine and that just, that freaked me out because it's like now, now they saying I'm ready to push, so I'm gonna have to push without no medicine. I was like, oh my God, freaking out. So when she told me I was at 10, it was getting me admitted and all that stuff. I asked her, I'm like, um, can I get an epidural? And she was like, no, it's too late. And y'all, I bawled my eyes out. Like, I just broke down and started crying because I was so, so, so scared. I was very scared. Like, I, I just, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't, like, I, like I said, I dilated so fast. They, when they first checked me, I was at three centimeters, and then an hour and something later, I'm ten. So it's like. No, like I didn't, I did not want it to be this way. So I'm freaking out, I'm crying. I'm in so much pain, I'm wanting some pain medicine. And they can't give me nothing because I'm about ready to push. So I'm just like, like I told y'all, I was bawling my eyes out, just crying and crying and crying. They wheeled me to my labor room and everything and it's like about to be showtime. So the nurse, one of the nurses did another check on me and she said that I was nine centimeters and that it was still some cervix in the way. So the doctor checked me again and she, they agreed like, okay, yeah, it is a nine. So yeah, basically I guess I wasn't 10 and my body was just so tired. Like I was exhausted and um, I couldn't sleep because I'm having these strong contractions and I'm just in so much pain, I'm crying. I, and it's like, it's kind of like I blacked out. Like, <laughs> like literally it's kind of like I blacked out from all the pain because I just wasn't there. Like I wasn't fully aware of anything. Like I was just kind of like, I feel like I was in and out. Like a woman's body giving birth goes through some traumatic pain because I couldn't even, like the contractions were so bad. I was so like out of it that I couldn't even like react to the contractions like I wanted to. Like I couldn't scream, cry out. Like the only thing that was happening was tears was coming down my face. I just know tears was rolling and rolling and rolling. But other than that, it's just like I had blacked out. So the nurses were just amazed at me. They was like, I've never seen somebody at 10 centimeters not screaming and no medicine. You know what I'm saying? They was just, they was amazed. And I'm like, inside I was like screaming and kicking and throwing stuff and doing everything else. Like, I'm asking my husband to ask him like, please, I need epidural, I need something. I wasn't like fully competent. <laughs> I wasn't fully competent to, um, what's the, to consent to an epidural. So they um gave me pain meds gave me the pain meds in my iv and they really didn't help like it just made the pain meds just made me really high so i did go to sleep but 
as I'm sleeping, well, I wasn't really even asleep. I was just like knocked out from the pain meds and I could still feel the contractions. It was just, oh my God, crazy. They were telling me like, let her rest for about an hour and then see if she's more awake so she can consent to an epidural. Um, after an hour and I finally like woke up again, I finally was a little bit more alert. I still asked for the epidural. I was like begging for the epidural and they, they finally let me have it. So relieved after that because after I got my epidural, it was perfect. I didn't feel a thing. Like whoever created, whoever created epidural, just, just thank you. Y'all, honestly, I don't even know how I would have been able to push when I was that tired. My body was that exhausted. It, shout out, like for real, shout out to the women who go all the way natural. Like that is really like. Oh my god, some power. That is some strength, okay? I went through all of this only to get my epidural at the last little bit of my labor. But I was still happy. So it was around 6 a.m. when I got my epidural. And y'all, I was ready to push like an hour later. Like 45 minutes later, that's when I started pushing. My doctor was amazing just at coaching me with pushing and everything. So I'm not sure how many pushes it took. I, I think it took about 15 minutes or so to push him out. And he came out at 7... Was it 704? I don't remember the exact time, but I know it was seven. It, it was either like seven or 701, 704, or something like that. And he entered into the world. He entered into the world. So yeah, and that's when Isaac came out. Oh my God, like relief, girl, relief. I was so relieved that he was here. Like I was overwhelmed with just a lot of emotions. Like, I could feel myself wanting to cry just from all the emotions that poured out when he came. But it's like no tears came out. I was like all cried out because I cried through most of my labor. But um, so yeah, he came out. He was six pounds, five ounces. He had a little rough road getting here. His nose was bruised and his like, the, like the top of his lip was just like bruised from coming out. All the pain that we go through giving birth and being in labor, it's just like, Nothing compared to the joy that you feel when they hear and they, you know, they come out, they sit them on your chest. It's just like, wow, it's like no other feeling, like seriously. So he, they put him on my chest. We did skin to skin. He latched really good. Now he is two months. Can you believe that happened two months ago? And a lot of times I'll be wondering like how it was for babies like to come out the womb. Like how was your, how was your experience getting here? Do you remember? Hmm? Was it scary? Was it hard? But I guess that's something that we, as humans, like should not remember, like coming out a vagina, coming out a womb. I, I, I can imagine that that's probably painful. So yeah, that is Isaac's birth story, my labor and delivery story. I'm glad I got to experience it like almost all the way natural, <laughs> but um, I'm glad that it's over with. I'm gonna get off here, I gotta, gotta go change his pooping. So yeah, thanks for watching y'all. I'll be back with another video and we'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs>